It is time for more Nancy Drew, the Deadly Device. How is everyone doing? I have a whole, a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of stuff down here. And I'm uh, beginning to collect the cat parts. The robotic cat. Which does remind me of a previous game that I did play. I'm not sure if you folks remember that game. I played, uh, well, I think it was number 23. So maybe you folks can figure out what number, or what game I'm thinking of when I say a number 23. Okay, so at some point we're going to have to do this. Etching solution. So solutions, etching solutions, do not use over under mixed solutions. So I'm definitely going to have to do this at some point. Like for example, wafer type. Silicon wafer. So I need hydrofluoric acid, nitric acid, and water. Two, two, one. So where the heck is the hydrofluoric acid? No. So I can't really get in here, it doesn't look like. Observations. Etching takes half a day to complete. A bottle of hydrofluoric acid is missing from the solution mixing station. Okay, so we need to find that hydrofluoric acid. Anyone here? Hi! Hello? Hello? Anyone? Anyone? Hello? Alright, so where is our hydrofluoric acid? It's gotta be in this cabinet here. Hydrofluoric acid it is! So this is our mixing station, is it not? Alright, so where do I put it though? I don't quite... How do I... I'm not sure. Hydrofluoric acid... Okay. So what is this? One, two, three, four units of that. And then let's look at my solutions. Nitric acid. So this is nitric acid. Four units of that. And then water. So one unit of water. So Basically, <coughs> there's our one unit. Alright, we got ourselves. Oh! <laughs> okay, so I clearly screwed that up. Oh, yes, I know what I did wrong. Uh, am I going to really have to do it exactly 2-2-1? Two, two, Alright, let's try. Um, what the hell am I doing here? So that's 1. It'd be a bad idea to mix those together. Oops. Did I reset? Oh, is this telling me what I've actually added? Maybe, let's see, let's see. Okay, so... I don't know if this will work, but we'll try it again, and we'll add... I'd uh, better measure this first. We'll try 442 this time. Oh, but you know what? I can't. Can't do that. No. Let's see if I can do the water first. There's one unit of that. It's too full. Can't do that right now. Oh, I see. There we go. This will do. There's two units of our water. Now let's just see if we can do four and four here. In the theory, that's a two-two-one mix. We got ourselves some etching solution. Really? I have to do exactly 2 2 1? I thought that would be ratios. Oh man. So, how the hell am I supposed to get 2? Hmm. 
No, oh, we'll just do it old school here. Get it exactly the way they want it. I don't understand why a ratio wouldn't work, but whatever. It's okay. I will survive. So there's our 2 2. Let me just double check my solutions here. Hydrofluoric acid, nitric acid. We have a silicon wafer, that's what we have here. Hmm. And yes, I know all these chemical symbols. Chemistry rules. Okay, so put that there. Alright, let's just try a 2 2 1 then, exactly what they're asking for. Am I supposed to mix? Oh, for mixed solutions only. Shake it up. This is mixed. I can't put it in my inventory. Yeah, it had to be exactly 2 2 1. Oh well. What are you going to do? Put it in here. Hmm. No? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so then I don't know what to put in there. Alright, so where can we etch this out here? In the f where was that fume hood? Creepy noises, wow. In here? Where is the fume hood? Here it is. Oh, ho, ho, don't turn around. Circuit design. We, oh, okay, okay, we gotta go in the machine here. There we go. Hmm. No? Circuit design? Disc. Button. We're etching ourselves the circuit board, I think. I think that's what we're doing. Alright, so this is gonna take about a day, so we might as well get the heck out of here. Uh, where can we go? Alright, so let's go out of there. Enough chemistry for now, although that was fun. Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh, see if what we can do in Nico's office. We haven't been there in ages. So we can put the data card in here. In it's one. Wednesday. I've clocked 49 hours of work this week. I found another note from Ryan on my door this morning. This time a threat. She continues to surprise. She's smarter than she looks. And then later she confronted me by the couch in the lounge and handed me another of her threats. I didn't bother taking it with me. The coil as is, it's little more than a plaything. I can't get the proper flow using the original design. I've got schematics drawn up for an entirely new prototype, but maybe that step isn't necessary. The math is solid, and the small-scale experiments are running at an efficiency of about 80%, and that's using the old design. I checked in on Mason's work today. He has the strangest attraction to exactly the work I'd most like him to avoid. I'm starting to question if he knows what he's toying with. I've made my message to him clear, yet he keeps going back to the rough materials application portion of the process. Perhaps it's time Gray tightens up the network to keep him in line. Maybe it's time to replace him. He's been less of an asset than I expected anyway. Hmm, starting to get motive here. I'm finding myself spending more and more time down in my study in a state somewhere near sleep. Viewing the schematics in my mind, looking for flaws. Doesn't make sense that I'm finding none. Okay. So I guess that's it. Let's go to the lounge. Maybe it's time to sleep. I don't know. Let's go to the lounge. Um, now, there was a leg over here. See it right there? If I can just get to it. Yeah! More cat bits! There was something in here? Yeah! What's left? Just the body, it looks like. Hmm. Oh, nice plants up here, too. No, I don't need to go to the restroom. I think Nancy will sing if I go in there. Oh, too late. 
I bet this scene won't make it into the book. Ah, I made it into the game, though. Okay. That's the game. We don't want to play that. Oh, what's here? Now, unless you're dying to see the inside of a body bag, I suggest you rethink your plans. What's with the gummy bear notes? You're smart enough to know what's going to happen if you don't stop. Nico, consider what I'm saying. If you run the coil in that configuration, it's going to kill you. For the last time, no. If you make me do this, you're going to end up dead. Whoa, better follow up on this. I'll be personally accepting my award at the Visionaries and Science Conference on the night of the 24th. They certainly believe that I can do what I say. You better as well. Whoa. Let's see what's over there. Alright, so whose notes are these? Oh, they went in here. Cool. Gummy bears. Nom nom gummy bears. Alright, time to go talk to uh, Miss Ryan. She's upstairs, right? I'm starting to learn my way around here. Alright, let's go to see what Miss Ryan is up to. Hello? Oops, too fast. Hi! Mason says he was tormenting you with a cat because you hid it. Is that true? It was self-defense! Fuzzy little freak ball had it coming. <laughs> okay. I found these notes in the lounge. Is this your handwriting? Yes. So you admit to threatening Nico? It looks like a threat, but it really isn't. What else could it possibly be? It says right here. I know what it says. Then what? A warning. It means just what it says. He wanted me to build something that could kill him. I had to make sure he knew what he was working with. Do you have anything to prove that's true? You know what? I need you to leave me alone right now. Go, please. Okay. Oh, she threw me out. Wow. Okay. Well, what are we going to do now? I don't know. Well, you know what? Is Mason up there? Let's go talk to him. Maybe he's got the last cat part. We should probably call the boys soon. That's right, the tiny boys. Mason, I'm coming to mess up your markers. Yes? I'll let you go. Never mind. See you later. So let's call up our friends here. Ooh, look at those phone charms. Hi. Any word on the background of the crew here? Funny thing you ask. Yeah, sort of. Nico has a file, but it's classified. Surprisingly, so does Gray. But we don't know what's in there. Interesting. But Nancy, you can't tell anyone. I had to sort of bend the rules. Oh, really now? I'll let you go. See ya. The uh, back button. See what I just did there? Dee Dee, talk to me. If you're under 50, why are you leaving me a message instead of a text? Oldsters, do what you gotta do. Okay. Well, Victor. Nancy, hi. How did you hear about me? Through a close friend. You've impressed a lot of people, Nancy. Okay. Why did you hire me and not a big investigation firm? The crew has been questioned a lot as you can imagine. Everyone's defenses are up. You can pull off the undercover work without drawing too much suspicion. I know it's a long shot, but I've heard good things. And... I already tried the buy-the-book way, and that got me nowhere. 
Did you know about Nico's diaries? I knew he kept audio notes in his office. He had a player there. No clue how it works. Did you know Ryan was threatening Nico? Do you have proof? I found a note, but she claimed it was a warning, not a threat. <laughs> Likely story. It'd be very convenient for her if you believe that. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. All right, let's, uh... Hey. Hey. I better get going. <laughs> See you later. I totally want to have a moment with your binders, if you don't mind. Mason, please. Can you do that for me? All right, let's go talk to our security guy on the first floor. Alrighty then. Oh. He's not here? Okay, that's... Interesting. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong door. Am I in the wrong door? No, I thought it was the right door. Huh. Well... Oh, my telephone's ringing. Hey there, champ. How's my favorite buddy? What do you want, Deirdre? What do I want? <laughs> this is about what you want, Nancy Drew. Is that so? It cannot be more so. I come bearing apologies. I want to help you, Nancy Drew. I want to be your girl on the inside of the exciting world of criminology. Why the sudden change of heart? Because, apparently, it still counts as plagiarism if you pay someone to write your paper. I mean, is capitalism dead? Because that's what it seems like. And you want to help me because... I made a bargain with my prof. If I can help an actual murder investigation, I'll get credit. So I help you, you help me collect data for my paper, and balance is restored to the universe. Right. How exactly can you help me? I've got permission to use our criminal database. In fact, I already read up on the case. That could come in handy. All right, it's a deal. Great. Call when you need help, and I'll do what I can. Just don't call me when I'm busy. Will do. Okay. You read up on the case, right? I don't understand why Ryan was under so much scrutiny, but never sent to trial. From what I gathered, something didn't add up with the video and the timeline. Someone had to be in the lab with Nico. Otherwise, he'd still be here today. So, if her alibi stands up, it couldn't be her. Exactly. Unless there's something big I'm missing. Something's weird about this whole thing. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Figure this <laughs> out. I asked her about the night of the murder. She was pretty much mute. I'm undercover here. I can't push too hard. Can you see what you can find on your end? I'll see what I can find. All I've got is the database. Don't expect any miracles. Okay. Does my, does our buddy know this? Victor here. Oh, he Bye. Doesn't care to Bye. Know. What about the Hardy Boys? Hi. Deirdre's decided to help me out. What's in it for her? A passing grade. Ah, oh, lucky. I wonder who her teacher is. I foiled three art heists, and did that help my art history grade? No. No, it did not. Rescue a stolen Vermeer, yet you still get a C. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Alright, where is that cat body? Good question. Alright, let's go see if our friend uh, Ryan is still angry at us. Oh, she's not here. She's not here. And I still don't know what to do with all this stuff. Okay. I don't 
think he'll want to talk to me, but we'll talk to him before we sleep for the night. Hey. Yeah, that's what I'll I thought. I'll let you go. See you later. Thank you for nothing. Alright, maybe we'll go and have a little nap. In the lounge. Uh, I don't think he was in here, right? Nope. Oh, scared me. I think I didn't want to go there. I wasn't expecting it to beep. Alright, let's go in here and then we'll just do a quick... See if anyone wants to talk to us. Hey there, Nancy Drew. Oh, wow. Do you know how to fix a musical Tesla coil? Yes. Really? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I thought you said... Should I let you get back to what you were doing? Wow. What do you know about surveillance video? That you watch it? Have you heard of cases where the video has been faked? Oh yeah, all the time. How can you tell if the video's been edited in some way? It's getting harder and harder to tell. But the number one thing you need to do is to make sure that you've got the original video feed. If you don't, analyzing the data file isn't going to do you much good. Is there a way to know if I have the original? Yeah, that's the detective part. Not in my wheelhouse. Okay. I need you to check on 911 calls the night of the murder. Consider it done. I'll text you the results. No, don't leave. What's up? This is Ryan's been sneaking into the facility. I think she might be trying to avoid ending up in the security logs. Just spitballing here. But do you think you could take her in a fair fight? What kind of question is that? The kind of question you ask someone who is kicking it with killers. You seem pretty certain she's guilty. The first thing you learn in criminology is that most cases are easy. The person who looks guilty usually is. Wow. Did you find anything on Ryan? Nancy, Ryan's alibi stands up. She couldn't have killed Nico. What? How do you know? She told the police that she won an award. That was her alibi. But it left her with enough time to sneak back in. It wasn't airtight. Close, but not perfect. There was nothing in the crime database. But I had a hunch. I went to the journalism lab and used their photographer database. The ceremony was a national story, so a bunch of freelancers put their shots up for sale. You found pictures of Ryan, but what does that prove? By itself, nothing. But two, count them, two different photographers submitted photos of Ryan standing near a visible clock. She couldn't have made it back in time. Yes, that was the finale I was building to and was excited to get to say out loud that you interrupted. <laughs> oh, Deirdre, you're amazing. That is a genuine compliment. Okay. I'm working on tracking down the photographers, but it could take weeks. For now, it looks like Ryan's in the clear. Cool. I don't know who to focus on now that Ryan's been cleared. I can't help you there. Whoever did this was very calculating. It's sort of too bad that the rest of your suspects are scientists. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were starting to enjoy working with me. <sighs> no. It's just that I'm bored and I'm completely out of episodes of TDPD. TDPD? Is that a... what is that? The best show on television. Ever. And you've never heard of it? Nancy, he was a linebacker and now he's a crime tracker. Ring a bell? Officer Downs? Anything? Sorry, never heard of it. <laughs> Sometimes it's like you live on Mars. I never heard of it either. Ryan was threatening Nico. I found one of her notes. What's it say? Unless you're dying to see the inside of a body bag, I suggest you rethink your plans. I admire the directness. Well, good. I was hoping this paper would be short. Ryan says the notes were taken out of context. Say what now? Yep. Yeah, in my experience, no one buys that line. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Hanging up. 
And I'm hanging up on all of you as well. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.